Broadway's on today, live outside our studio. This morning, the Scarlet Pimpernel. And coming up, Stomp and Ragtime. It's Broadway on today, every Saturday morning. And we're back with more from the cast of the Scarlet Pimpernel. This year, Douglas Fields not only made his Broadway debut, he also earned a Tony nomination. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome. I travel with my own entourage. They're very expensive, but they're worth it. And a nice entourage it is. Yeah. I recently heard a very famous actor say that the one thing left to do was to originate a Broadway role. What a year you've had originating a role, getting a Tony nomination. What, it's been, what has it been like? It's been expensive. I had to pay for the whole thing myself. How much? I mean, it was close to, you know, 11 million. But I waited tables for a good 10 years, and I was able to come up with it. It's been the time of my life. I'm living every actor's dream. And, and the only way I can make sense of it is to say I'm sharing it with all those people that I've worked with over the past 20 years and the people who may not come to see this day, that I'm living it for them as well because it's way too many blessings for one person to take. Well, we're going to be blessed to hear a song. What are you going to do for us now? I'm going to sing Melancholy Baby from the show. I, I've seen the show. I, I don't recall it. Yeah, wait till you hear it. Okay. No, it's uh -huh. called She Was There. And um, it's when this character, late in the second act, it's sort of the, sort of the 10 o'clock number. And my character finds out that my wife is the woman that he thought she was all along. And she, in fact, she has not betrayed him. So he's thinking back through the whole last hour and a half of events saying, you know, how could I have been so wrong about her? I was right all along. Take it away. Thanks. <laughs> I have stood in the moonlight watching it fade into dawn wanting her back with me warm in the moonlight knowing that moment was gone out of mind, out of sight still the moon rose tonight all at once I felt a chill in a spill of moonlight, she was there. Though we both held very still. There was something pulling in the air when she whispered through the dark. I tried hard to hold my ground. I believed I had a choice till the music in her voice turned my whole world around. I would like to understand But the stars that I begin to blur If she never touched my hand Then what filled me with the feel of her In between us to the wall In a flash it fell apart Is it possible she heard Every last unspoken word Racing out of my heart She never turned to me But suddenly we had so much to share I never took her in my arms But she was there Oh, she was there No, I never pulled her in Still her tenderness was everywhere Oh, she slipped beneath my skin Just as if she'd always been right there Douglas Phil, thank you, and we'll be right back. Our thanks again to the cast of The Scarlet Pimpernel. I am assuming the new role here. <laughs> Jody's off to London. She'll be live from Kensington Palace tomorrow. Jack will be back as well. We hope you have a great Saturday. Welcome back to today, and I have assumed this lovely garb. And explain the significance of this ring I know because I saw the show. By the way, the show is a great show. Well said. <laughs> 
I'd say about 10 minutes into the first act, I turned to my husband and I said, this is what Broadway is about. Thank you. Great show. Have a great show. You said that you were a waiter for 10 years, and I heard a vicious rumor. You actually thought about quitting the acting profession. I did. I Why? stopped. I don't know. It just wasn't interesting. There wasn't interesting stuff coming down the pike. But then this came along, and these guys came along, and they keep me, uh, they keep me on my toes. But I just want you to know, to wear this, you, you really, and this, you, yes. you get the ring when you score a 10 in three areas. You have to be a great swordsman, you have to be a great drinker, and you have to be a great lovemaker. <laughs> And you say to that? I'm gone. <laughs> that was the most incredible swordsmanship. How long did it take to choreograph that scene? There is an unbelievable realism. Oh, it's not realism. choreographed. We improv the sword play. Oh, right really? <laughs> we worked on it for like six weeks, wouldn't you say? Yeah. 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 Six weeks-ish. Were, were you the, the, the uh, silver spoon kind of guy who grew up fencing? Yeah. Fencing. Yeah, in a Jewish home in the suburbs, we do a lot of fencing. <laughs> Verbal fencing, maybe. No, that's the fun of acting. You get to be different people. No, I did not grow up with a silver spoon fencing. That's a funny image. That's a really funny image. What do you think is the appeal of this show? Because it is just going gangbusters, and obviously didn't hurt that all the, to the Tony stuff, you know. We do, we give out cocktail weenies at intermission. No. Oh. I'm kidding. I'm I should have left kidding. my seat. I, I was, no. Yeah. What is the appeal of the show? Romance and humor. There's a lot of kissing in this show. Well, um, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> and did, were the, were the nude scenes in when you saw it last night? We have nude scenes. I'm kidding, it's a family show. <laughs> it's romance and adventure and humor. And you and just intrigue? don't find those things anymore. We have intrigue and um, um, it's great because there are very few things you can take your whole family to where the, the adults enjoy it on one level and the kids enjoy it on their own level. The other thing is romance and intrigue. Right. But I thought the show, there were parts of it that were so hilarious. There's a little lace thing. <laughs> There's a whole bit on lace. You've got to see it to believe it. What's the deal with you guys and all the lace? Huh? Well, you know, uh, the Pimpernel and his guys were the very first masked heroes. First came Pimpernel, then Zorro, then Superman and the Green Hornet. Everybody came after that. So the lace and all of their finery is their disguise during the day so they can... Um, save people at night and people won't suspect them as the as the heroes that they are so all those other guys are just wannabes you were the original all right it's true this That's is the true. cast of the scarlet pimpernel a phenomenally talented cast it's a really terrific show you're gonna go see it aren't you janet absolutely I can't wait to go and all right go. Yeah. you go too we've got to go, go. Um, we'll we'll guillotine you if you want to come on stage.